Hi, I'm James the Lake Guy, and today we're going to make an attempt at repairing this assembly. So, a bit of delay on this video because I had ordered a set of these replacement LEDs. And when my Amazon package arrived, it was empty. So I had to order another set. Uh, Amazon did refund me for the missing set, but it did still cause a delay in producing this video. So first thing we got to do is try and remove these, hopefully without damaging this side since it came out so well and I don't want to start over completely. So eye protection on, let's get to it. Actually, you guys don't need to watch me do this whole thing. I'll be back after I'm done. All right, I've dremeled out the vast majority of it. As you can see, there are still bits in here. This stuff is really difficult to work with. But for now, looks like we got enough clearance to get the new chips in. My plan is to remove these end caps and put them in horizontally this time so that they evenly distribute the light. But first things first, I have to clean up this workstation. There we go. That'll do for right now. So first things first, we gotta try and desolder these end caps. We'll use our soldering gun here, or soldering iron, and see if we can't carefully remove those. I'm not going to make you guys sit and watch, so I will be back in a minute. As you can see here, I bridged the connections with some solder and wire, making one larger flat panel. And we should be able to carefully place this centered in the emblem so that it gives light out of both eyes. I do need to notch out this corner a little bit further to make sure that this sits completely flush. And then we'll clean this up real nice and get to epoxying. As you can see here, we have soldered on our lead wires and it works perfectly. We do have one stressful part left and that is lining this up so that we don't get too much light out of one eye. If we perfectly center it and press it in place, as you can see, we get an even distribution of light in both eyes. So that's the goal. Let's see if I can do that with the epoxy. First, we'll disconnect all these wires, zoom out, and mix up some epoxy. Same plan as normal. We're going to mix up quite a bit of the epoxy, probably not the whole thing this time, but a decent amount. Go with about half. A little back, there we go. Get this thoroughly mixed and try and remove that little bit of wire that I caught in there, there we go.
All right, let's go for it. Peel this paper away. very carefully get this lowered into place and use the extra epoxy to help hold it in now we don't have the clay to support it so once I'm comfortable with its position, I'm just going to hold this and wait for it to fully cure. Be back in a bit. It's finally cured enough to handle. It's not completely cured yet, but you can see we actually got it centered this time. And if we spin it around and turn on the power, there you go full even light in both eyes. I still have to contact my colleague, find out if he wants it coated black or if he would prefer for it to remain with these off clear eyes. But that's all I have for today's video. If you enjoyed this attempt at making the LED backlit emblem, be sure to like the video and let me know in the comments below. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And until next time, I'm James the Light Guy.